also more stuff lower down on the main screen, not back Hi. screen. So I was going through my videos and found out I do not have a video for the Saturdays of August 2023. So I'm making them now. Um, I just made the Jeopardy episode for last time. And I already made the Jeopardy episode for next time. But now... We need two Wheel of Fortunes. And it's warning us a small percentage of people might have seizures if they play this. Or with me, I get kind of seasick. Like from watching the wheel go around. So I'll look at something else for a minute. Um, local mode. We'll do family. I kind of wish that if it was a family game that they would, you know, show you having, you know, like one more person with you that looks kind of like you. So I've only got it on 20 right now, so I don't know what all you're really hearing, but I hope you're hearing everything. It says here, well, it, it doesn't say much. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Hmm. Oh, Thank you for joining us today. Your outfit looks quite interesting. You must have visited the customization menus. How are you doing today? Oh, he usually well, tells me that. that. About the customization. The category is free. That's going back to our website across the road. Contestant number one. Go ahead and solve. Let's make it. Work. If you do the expanded map. And then I was having trouble. Remembering how to turn it in. Shall we go ahead and start the round? The category is same name. Contestant number one. You're up first, so take a spin. Um, so let's buy a vowel. One A. Oh, and speaking of that, I have this app on my phone that is, you know, supposed to pay me money when I play uh, certain games. And one of the games has, uh, it's like Wordly or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce it. But um, it's got five letter words. And, and, you know, some of you older people might remember the TV show Lingo. It's exactly like that. But I'm having trouble... Finding the, uh, you know, finding out what the word is a lot of the time. I thought I was so good at word games and then all of a sudden I found that game and it's like, oh gosh, I don't feel like I'm that great at all. 
Well, let's buy an E. <gasps> There's no E's! See, those two are great for me. Oh, we're playing. I'm playing against Madison and Liam. Which is kind of funny because I just put the name Liam into one of my uh, stories. I don't remember when I made him, though. I don't remember. <laughs> that's making me sad. That's making me kind of sad because I, I know I put him in there. I just don't remember what he is. I know I put Chase in there as... Um, oh, there's a Y. Um, anyway, I put Chase in there as Brandon's best friend, but I don't remember why I put Liam in as. I don't know, right now I want to put Bill and Granny something. Okay, so it could be Bill, it could be Dill, it could be um, Phil, Jill. Aw, poor guy. I'm going to try the B. Okay, it's not Bill. Oh, um, there's no more vowels? Oh, apparently I don't have enough to buy a vowel. No, I've got enough to buy a vowel. I guess there's just not any. Oh, yeah, he just bought the one. That made no sense. Oh, Willie and Granny, Will and Granny Smith. <laughs> I am speechless. Did you just pull that out of thin air? Let's get this round started. The category is food and drink. Oh, cool. The E's give you no money. Contestant number two, would you like to solve? We have one A. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Do we have any of those? 
Apparently not. Yeah. Well, I didn't think so, but I decided to better try anyway. No, we don't seem to have How about an F? Well, let's try C next. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. But let's go with your F. Uh, I want to say something of fate. No, food and drink, something of fate. No. You oh. See. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm I told you I need to see. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Yes, we have some seeds. Piece of cake. Okay, now I don't feel so wow, stupid. That is <laughs> How did you come up with that? I don't know. God gave me the answer. <laughs> We're ready to start the bonus round, I think. Let's get over there. P. Around the house. R S T L N and a vowel E. I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and pick three more consonants and a vowel. B D H and A. I was pretty sure you were gonna get that one. Baby's crib. Thank you. I probably would have gotten it, just... Wow, you won the bonus round. Not around our house. We'll We've got key cats. They each got a thousand each. Cool. That that's that's awesome. Okay, so um, please check out my books on Amazon. Um, remember you can always go to a place like Walgreens, not a paid advertisement, thank you. Um, and get a gift card. I mean, you know, an uh, Amazon gift card. And then you can go home and put it into your Amazon and buy it that way. It's a lot safer than using your credit card or your bank card. Um, you just type in Tina Rash in the search engine. And make sure you're on the books tab and then press the button to search and you should find six books. They are Pirate's Daughter, Misfortune, Hard Times. Those are um, Morgan, Hayden, and Williams books. And then later in the series, and we're not entirely sure where, you know, where this later is, but later in the series is Esperanza's Party and the Island. And then totally 
unrelated to the book is a series of books that I've chose to call Adopted because, you know, we get um, all of our... I don't want to say we get all of our cats secondhand, but, you know, um, with the exception of Coral, we haven't had them since they were, you know, little baby kittens. Uh, Coral we got from the Nevada Humane Society in Reno, and Ben we got from the lady upstairs because for some reason she was allergic when we lived in a, um, it was, um, it was a white building on the outside. I don't remember what the, I don't remember what the apartment's name was. It wasn't important, but anyway, um, she was allergic to Ben, so we adopted him. And then, um, Sam just happened to be having trouble with a really big, huge, huge dog that he was imagining to be dinosaur size. You know, like, like T-Rex, uh, Stegosaurus, something like that. You know, he was imagining it to be that size. And we'd been feeding him for about his whole life anyway. And he was only about a year old when we met him. So, um, so we adopted him too. Um, we, we made sure that, you know, the, the dog chased poor Sam up the stairs and I swear, it sounded like the neighbor falling down with groceries. You know, like canned goods and all sorts of groceries. I don't know how that, you know, how that worked out. Because it was this big old dog chasing this, you know, one-year-old cat. You would not believe it was the same cat if I could come up with pictures. I know I've got one of Sam when he was younger. And then, you know, I've got a bunch of recent ones from from now. But, yeah, you just would not believe that that was the same cat. But it is. <laughs> and he's, uh, is he 14, 16 pounds? Yeah, he's not listening. Okay, yeah, um, I think he's 16 pounds. Because the, the vet said that his cat's 18 pounds. Yeah, well, I was trying to ask you a question and you ignored me. Um, uh, but anyway, anyway, he's got blue gray skin. And so I was told by somebody that that means he's a blue Russian, but he's also bigger than most other cats. So I think he's got a little bit of Maine Coon in there or, you know, some other big cat, but Maine Coon's the only one that I know that is definitely a big cat, you know? So, um, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Please know that you are definitely enough. Know that there's no problem you cannot solve or handle, including work and coming up soon, school. You can do it. You can definitely do it. Even if it's algebra, you can at least do enough of it to pass. I got faith in you. And um, I'll see you in the next video.